Welcome to the next level. Hey there, this is 8-Bit Flashback, and today I'm going to show you how to add games to your Sega Genesis Ultimate Portable Player. So to start with, you're going to need a memory card. I found that a SanDisk 2GB SD card works really well with an adapter. Also, a 4GB SanDisk SDHC card works well too. And I'd recommend that you stick with an SD card that's 4GB or lower. I have heard that there is some 8GB cards working, but I haven't had any luck, and there's a lot of incompatibility issues. So if you can find these two specific SD cards, you're going to have a lot better chance of making this work. I personally tested maybe 15 different SD cards, and these were the only two I could get to work. Alright, now we're going to copy and paste the mega link that's in the description, and we're going to open up that page. Once that page is opened up, there's going to be a download link. We're going to go ahead and download that. And this link's going to contain everything we need to get games working on an SD card. And it's a pretty small file, so it'll download pretty quick. It's only about 7 megabytes. Once we're done downloading, we're going to open that folder and show in folder. Now we're going to minimize the internet screen. Now we're going to take what we just downloaded and drag that to the desktop. I already have a copy of it on my desktop, so I'm just replacing it. Now we're going to open that up and we're going to drag the contents of that onto our desktop. Again, I already have the same file, so I'm just going to replace it. Once it's done transferring to the desktop, we should have a folder called Sega Ultimate. And after that's done, we can go ahead and get rid of that zip file, because we don't need that anymore. Now we're going to open up that folder called Sega Ultimate, and you should have all these files inside there. So this is everything we need to get the games on our SD card, and also add artwork. Now inside the Sega Ultimate folder, we're going to click on the SD card formatter setup. And this is going to install a formatting program. I found with the Windows format system, it wasn't formatting my SD card right, and it wouldn't work in the Sega Ultimate. But this program works well. So this is just a very simple program. All we're going to use this for is to format that SD card. So we're going to go through the steps to get it installed. And once you're done installing it, it should make a shortcut on your desktop. And after you're done installing, when you click that finish button, it should automatically launch the program, as long as that box is checked. And as you can see over here, there is an SD card formatter shortcut, so we can also open the program there. So here's the SD card formatter program. And there's no need to change any of the settings, it's all ready to go. All we gotta do is select the right SD card. So mine's already pulled up, but I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the SD card and put it back in just to make sure that was the right SD card. My SD card is labeled Samsung, so that is the correct location. If yours doesn't automatically pull up, you can also click the drop down menu here to find your SD card. And now I'm gonna rename my card Sega. You don't have to do this step, I'm just doing this to make it more organized. After I got it renamed, I'm gonna go ahead and click Format. And as long as you have the quick format checked, it should be pretty fast. Now that it's done formatting, I can go ahead and close this program. And now it's time to find my SD card. So I'm going to use File Explorer and find the location of it. It's called Sega, so it's easy to find. Now I'm going to go back to the Sega Ultimate folder that we downloaded earlier. And we're going to transfer the game folder over. So this folder right here, we're going to go ahead and drag that and drop it inside the SD card. Once we have that game folder transferred to the SD card, it's time to go ahead and test it out on our Sega Ultimate player because inside the game folder we have some homebrew games that we can test out. And these are on official games that are fan made, we're just using these for testing purposes. So I'm going to load the SD card in my Sega Ultimate Player and power it up and then navigate to page 9. Now I'm going to select the SD card and push start. If everything goes well it should load a few homebrew games here. And most of these are Super Mario games that are fan made, I'm just going to load one of them just to test it out. So the game's labeled Super Mario Brew. But once the game loads, it's called Super Mario Bros. 2, but it's actually Super Mario Bros. 1. How confusing is that? Alright, I passed that test and I got everything working. But, if your SD card is not working, you couldn't get the games to load, you couldn't get it to read, then your SD card is probably not compatible, and you're going to have to find a different SD card. So you don't want to continue from this point unless you have that SD card working. But as long as everything's working, we're going to continue on. So the format you want to use for your Mega Drive or Genesis games is going to be bin format. I have been able to get gen format to work, but it doesn't work all the time, so I'd recommend sticking with a bin format. And if you're looking for a Sega Genesis ROM set that's all in bin format, then you should check out this place right here. This is a Sega Genesis ROM set that has 5,000 plus ROMs, and they're all in bin format, and the download's about 664 megabytes, but after unpacking it, it becomes 6.72 gigabytes. And if you do end up downloading this, you open it up and you'll see that there's a lot of games that have the same name, so it looks like a bunch of repeats. 
But what it is, is it's games from different regions and prototypes all mixed together. So there is a lot of different games to choose from in this pack. And some of the games in this set are not compatible to Sega Genesis Ultimate Player, but I would say at least 80% of them are. And I can't actually post a link to this website because my video will get flagged, but maybe someone will be nice enough and post a link down in the comments below. So here's a closer look at the games that are already in a games folder on the SD card. So I got about six different games that are already on there. And if you scroll to the right over here, you can see what format they're in. And five of these are in bin format. I do have one that's in gin format, but I recommend that you stick with bin format because it's way more compatible. And if you have games that are not in bin format, you can convert those. So right here I have a game, Sonic 3D Blast, and it's in SMD format, Sega Mega Drive. You also can't use a zip format, so I'm going to have to drag this game from inside this folder to the desktop. So there's a lot of people that say you can just rename it and change the SMD to BIN. Sometimes this works, but for the most part it doesn't work, and I recommend you don't do it this way. What I recommend is you use a program called SBWIN, and this program will convert multiple Sega Genesis formats to BIN format. So now I'm going to double click on the SBWIN program, and that's located inside that Sega Ultimate folder that we downloaded earlier. Then we're going to go through the process to install the program. And if all of your ROMs are already in bin format, then there's really no reason to use this program. This is just to convert ROMs that are in the wrong format to bin. And another thing I should point out is only Sega Genesis or Mega Drive games seem to work. I can't get any Game Gear games or Master System games to work. Maybe there's a way to make them work, but I haven't figured it out yet. After it's done installing, if you have the launch button clicked when you click finish, it's automatically going to launch the program. Otherwise, there's going to be a shortcut on the desktop that will also open the program. Once the program's open, I'm going to click that plus button and search for the game that I just extracted to the desktop, the Sonic 3D Blast. Now I'm going to select the path where I want to save the game, so I'm going to navigate to my SD card, then open the games folder, and that's where I want to save the game. Then where it says save file as, I need to make sure that I have been selected. So everything looks right, now I'm going to hit the play button up at the top, and that's going to convert that ROM to a bin format. Now I'm going to check my game folder, and I should have Sonic 3D Blast in there. And I'm going to scroll over, and you can see it's in bin format. So now this game should play on my Sega Portable. So for the most part, this program works pretty good, and I can usually play these games on my Sega Portable, but there is a few games here and there that just don't work. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to add artwork to your games using this program called NDB Edit. And this one doesn't have to be installed, this is just an application that you click on and it works. So this uses a file system called MDB. And the MDB file is where the pictures and the games are linked together. So right now on my SD card located inside the game folder is an existing MDB file that has a couple pictures stored already. And I could open up this existing MDB file and edit it and add some more pictures, but for this tutorial we're just going to start from scratch. So one issue I've found when I'm trying to do this is that if I have any game names that have any special characters in them like this, sometimes I can't get the pictures to load with the game. So the easiest fix is just to rename the game and get rid of the special characters. After renaming the game, I'm going to go ahead and copy the name. Now I'm going to head back over to MDB Edit and enter that game name and then click Add. Once the game's added, it's time to set the screen. But before we can set the screen, we got to get a picture ready. So to get a picture for your game, the easiest thing to do is just to Google the name of your game and find an appropriate picture. But for this particular game, I have included a picture that's in that Sega Ultimate folder called Gen Super Mario 64. So you want to right click on the picture, then we're going to select Edit with Paint. So the way this picture is right now, it won't work. We're going to have to make some changes. First off, we're going to have to resize it. The correct size is going to be 120 by 112. So we're going to select Resize, then uncheck this box right here, the Maintain Aspect Ratio. Then we're going to change the pixel size from 120 to 112 then select OK. Now our picture is the right size, but we're going to have to save it and change the name in the format. So we're going to change the name to the Super Mario World 64. That's the same name that's in our MDB edit. Then we're going to save it in the format 16 color bitmap. And unfortunately 16 color bitmap isn't that great of quality, but that's the one that works. Once I got the settings the way I want, I'm going to navigate to the Sega Ultimate folder, open it, and then select save. And when you click save, you're going to get a message about picture quality. Just select OK. What it's telling you is your picture quality is going to be a little bit less. Now it's time to open back up the MDB edit and click set screen. Then we need to navigate to that Sega Ultimate folder where we just saved that picture and select it. So right here's the picture I just saved. Okay, so we got that game done. Let's do a couple more. 
So the next game I'm going to type here is going to be SMB 4MD, so that's Super Mario Bros. 4 Mega Drive. After typing the name out, it's time to click the Add button, and that'll add the name to the list. So this is one of the games that's included in the games folder on the SD card. So for this game, I already have a picture ready to go for you. So all we got to do is click Set Screen, and then navigate to the Sega Ultimate folder that we downloaded earlier, then select the picture labeled Super MW. So now we have two different pictures for two different games. Now it's time to go ahead and save this file to the SD card. So we're going to click the Save MDB box. Now we're going to navigate to our SD card. Mine's labeled Sega. Then select the Games folder. Now we're going to click Save. There's already an MDB folder in there, but this is going to overwrite it. So now on our SD card, we're going to have two pictures for two different games. And the last thing I'm going to show you is how to edit that MDB file after already saving it to your SD card. So for instance, if you want to add more pictures after adding more games, you're going to click that Open MDB box. And you also want to make sure you have your SD card plugged into the computer. After clicking the Open MDB box, you want to navigate to the Games folder on the SD card. Now we're going to select that MDB file and click Open. So this is the file that we just saved to our SD card. So now I'm going to edit this file and add one more game. I'm going to add the game Sonic 3D Blast. So I'm going to copy the name of the game, then I'm going to paste that in the MDB edit. After adding the name of the game, I'm going to click the Add button. Now we have Sonic 3D Blast on the game list. Now it's time to set the screen, but I don't have any picture available. So I'm going to go to Google and Google Sonic 3D Blast, and I'm just going to use this picture right here. So I'm going to right click on this and then click Save Image As, and then navigate to the Sega Ultimate folder and save the game there. Alright, after saving the picture, I'm going to open up my Sega Ultimate folder, and then click Edit on the Sonic 3D Blast picture that I just downloaded. So here's that Sonic picture that I just downloaded. So I'm going to click Edit and Paint. So to use this picture, we're going to have to resize it. So I'm going to unclick the Maintain Aspect Ratio, then change the pixels to 120 by 112, then select OK. Now we're going to Save As, and we're going to change the game name to the same name that's in NDB Edit. Then I'm also going to change the format to that 16 color bitmap. Then I'm going to save the picture inside the Sega Ultimate folder. Now it's time to go back to that NDB Edit. I'm going to click Set Screen then navigate to the Sega Ultimate folder. And then we're going to select that picture that we just saved. So the quality of this picture isn't so great. Maybe I'll find a different picture later, but it will work. So now I'm going to click the Save box, then navigate to the SD card, then open the Games folder, then click Save. And that's going to overwrite the existing MDB file. And now we should have three different pictures for three different games. Well, that's it. Hopefully this can help you get your games up and running on your Sega Ultimate player. Thanks for watching. If you want to hear more from me, please subscribe.